Give up. Hey guys, Jim Bounds with Co-op Motor Works and Motorhome Rehab Ranch on Patreon. I'm here today with Elvis. Um, <clears throat> good friend of mine, Andy, lives in Switzerland. And um, his son is on the way over this month. First time since COVID to enjoy his GMC that he keeps with us. Elvis has been waiting for him. He bought it, what? year two years ago been hard been hard on the box well listen I'm not going to talk about Elvis today <clears throat> we're going to talk about microwaves and ovens and the thing you need when you don't go to Taco Bell how's that that's in my life uh, Janie does such a good job at feeding me that uh, that what little I have to do, um, uh, the kitchen more, more involves her. And so what I can do is to tell you what I do for ground control for her. <laughs> okay. Cause don't, add, don't, the scouts used to eat my food in the woods because there wasn't anything else. Okay. So, um, I am not going to sit here and tell you about the, the facets of kitchens, but I'm going to tell you, what will fit in a GMC and what things to consider when you're thinking about uh, some something to uh, heat something. Okay. Now at the end of this video, uh, Scarlett's going to throw up several uh, stills of a lot of different ideas. Okay. <clears throat> and um, with the new group in the world, you know, uh, microwaves are, are getting more efficient. Um, uh, toaster ovens, are not what you would call real efficient, okay? Um, but if you've got a constant source, you can use them. You want to look at the energy uh, use of whatever you're going to do. The most uh, inefficient is a heating element, okay? Um, well, not the most inefficient because some microwaves and some of the pictures you'll see is one of them, a huge thing. I bet you the thing makes the generator jump when it turns on. But uh, a, a small microwave will pull a thousand watts or 12, 1200 watts. And you know, heck you could do that for a small length of time with a, uh, with a uh, inverter system and solar and stuff like that. So, uh, 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 stoves, uh, microwave type stoves are getting where it's a pretty good ingredient in, uh, in a off grid type, uh, um, situation. Cause you know, you're cooking food and all that kind of stuff. Um, <clears throat> so a small microwave and you say, well, wh which one? All right. You, the big, the, if you look at them, you want the inside to be, of course, as large as possible, but the outside, your depth is your problem. Okay. Because the deeper it is, the further it has to come down because the curve of the coach, if you have a big, deep microwave, it can't go up any higher than the rail. Because if it does, it's going to be going out into the, into the front of the kitchen. So you, look, you want to look at the depth of a microwave. And they have new ones every six weeks or something. So there's no good for me to tell you a specific one. Now, we'll tell you one that we've used for many, many years, and it seems like it's still around. It's a Cuisinart. I'll never forget the part number. CMW100 or 200. CMW200. Cooperative Motor Works 200. It is a convection microwave grill. Kind of cool. Um, and it's very shallow, stainless steel front. Take a look at it. Cuisinart CMW 200. Um, you could use that as kind of a gauge as to the depth and all this kind of stuff and look at the size inside and look at uh, how many watts it pulls and things like that. They're reasonably inexpensive anymore. You can get a very expensive microwave and you can get it. That thing will got a toilet paper roll in it, I'm sure. <clears throat> but you got to think about where you are, what you're doing and, uh, you know, what will make your life easier without making it more cluttered. So uh, smaller units. Now, you'll also see a picture of a complete 
propane stove, three burner stove oven arrangement. Brand new, you can buy them. And uh, uh, like a good friend of mine's wife cooked him biscuits every morning. And if that's the case, buddy, you better buy her an oven. <laughs> I'm telling you. But, you know, you want to pick what you're going to do with this. And <clears throat> uh, uh, in my coach, one of the pictures is mine. It's got a, Jenny found a uh, uh, combination uh, uh, griddle top, uh, toaster oven, and coffee maker. All in one. It's like 80 bucks, you know. Uh, and then we got a microwave that was put in by the previous owner. It's probably pulling a million watts. I don't know. Um, so when it takes a dump, I'm going to put something else in there. But to have a microwave and a small toaster oven, a little griddle top, uh, you know, and a coffee, uh, some kind of coffee arrangement. I don't drink coffee, <laughs> but I know you guys do. All of that, the smaller you can get it. And, and what you look at, don't build it in like you used to do. Uh, get it where it can be thrown out because you don't fix any of this stuff anymore. You throw it out and get another one. So if you're making a kitchen and you're going to put an area for this microwave, make it a universal size and then make a cover plate that goes over it to fit whatever you make. That way, when it takes a dump, you're not looking for warranties. Just throw that junk out. If it works for 30 days, you're good. Rip it out, throw it away, get another one, look at your size and put it right up in there. Think about next month or next year, you know, uh, and, and think about uh, what kind of goodies uh, your wife or a significant other will uh, cook for you, if, they, if that's how you do it. Think about, there are a lot of units out there. The Cuisinart I first found at uh, Bed Bath & Beyond, you know, uh, you never know where you're going to find stuff. So it's not like the old days when there was, it was a real deep, dark secret where to buy things and all this. The Internet's made that pretty open. So do your homework on there. And uh, I hope, hope this will help you learn how to uh, fish in the appliance lake. <laughs> that? Um, I even told you about a fish I like. So I hope this helps. And... Uh, I, I hope that the videos like this are helpful um, because it, it is helpful for us. I mean, we want to put this information out to you. We have you guys asking us this all the time. And to that end, we're very excited that you're sending ideas and we want more. We want more, okay? So uh, we're going to have a contest this month. What is this month? September? Yeah, September. And I know that that dates the video. Well. You guys that are looking at this in September of 2028, sorry, we're not doing it anymore. But the, the ranch hands, you guys are watching every week, and I appreciate that. So for the month of September, I want you to send in as many ideas, of videos, and things that we can help you with as you can. And at the end of it, we're going to have a give out. Uh, we've got a bunch of things here to, uh, to give out. Uh, uh, here, I see one. Stay with it. Here. These are some uh, some mugs we're going to uh, offer as uh, as uh, uh, contest prizes for... Um, we haven't figured out the parameters yet. I would just tell you, start sending me ideas. Start sending ideas in. And Scarlett and Jason and I will go through all that stuff. And, um, oh, by the way, I have some some uh, uh, new folks for you guys to understand. We got, we got some new people coming in on the stagecoach. And uh, you're going to be very excited about, about some things we have happening. But we have stuff like this um, and some other things. So, uh, hey, how about this? One left. Notice the land lovers. <clears throat> there are no plumbers at sea, so if you ever get operate, if you never operated one of these before, the skipper or a mate will be glad to show you how. This is what you put in the, in the head. Marine toilet, we call them a head, is a complicated mechanism. If you toss even the smallest thing into it, 
even a paper matchstick or a hank or here it will probably choke do not put anything in the head that is not passed through your body first there's a great one you know got one left could be yours so listen thanks for being involved with us i hope that uh your involvement here is good for you i hope you learn some things and um i'm telling you we're having a great time here um <laughs> elegance is uh, dreaming again jumping around over there beautiful well look guys thank you for being involved thank you so much and uh we want to do more see you next time bye bye